Hey guys, it's Jay. So, I feel like this is, I have to do my annual dragging of YG for some, like, I don't, he just always had to do something to irritate my whole ass nerve. So, I feel like every year since I've been doing this channel that I had to drag YG for something, and this is no exception. So, you know, of course, in the beginning of the year, you know, with Icon coming back and being very successful with this new album, I'm very happy about that because I was definitely worried about Icon being the fact that, you know, stuff, it was kind of like, eh, you know, they had a single in 2016, but it was just a single. Um, They came back last year with new kids, but it was mixed, you know, it didn't chart very well. Um, And it was kind of mixed reviews. Some people liked it, some people didn't like it. Um, Bobby had a solo, which he didn't really promote because he had to go back to Japan and perform with Icon. Because uh, basically the past two years they spent performing in Japan. And I'm great. I'm happy that they're like popular in Japan. Cool. But um, what about Korea? You know, what about what about them? You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm st I'm kind of I'm kind of irked about the whole Bobby album because that album was so fucking good. It was so good, and didn't get really. I think he only did one taping of Inkigayo. That was it. Had to take his ass right back to Japan. I don't even know if he actually really fully promoted in Japan because there's a Japanese version. I don't think they promoted it really. So I'm just very disappointed because the album was really good. One of, like I said, that was one of my favorite albums last year and got really awful promotion for it. Um, but none of the, nonetheless, this year, they've been doing great. Love Scenario is, like, still charting on Melon and stuff like that. They won 11 music shows, so I'm very happy for them. Winner, they released the Japanese version of their song they released last year, and they're preparing for a comeback, and there's rumors that Minnow's having a solo cool blackpink okay here's the thing with blackpink so we have blackpink tv cool but here's the thing so i think um the end of the month they're supposed to come out with a quote-unquote special box for the japanese debut so the cd dvd so the cd you have the songs in japanese and you have the songs in korean not surprised the dvd you have the MVs. I'm going to assume those are the Japanese ones. You have behind the scenes uh, for the MV. You have a special interview. You have behind the scenes stuff for the, you know, the jacket, like the photo shoot and stuff like that. And you have their debut showcase that they did in Japan. I guess they did something, some I guess some festival or something like A Nation 2017 where they did Boom Bayan If It's Your Last. This motherfucker cost five thousand nine hundred and forty yen. That's about sixty dollars. So basically, in order to see the showcase, you have to spend sixty dollars. So, like, I don't see the point. I mean, okay, you have behind the scenes stuff. Do people really care about that type of shit? I really don't. Maybe that's just me. Like behind the scenes stuff. Ain't really all that important for me. So that's like, uh, the videos are probably somewhere on YouTube. Cause I, I don't, cause I know there was, I'm not sure there was a, I don't, wait, no, I don't think there was a full baby. I'm not sure. I have to look on YouTube cause I could have sworn that they had uploaded the Japanese versions of the videos on YouTube. I know like Big Bang and you know, icon and stuff do that. Um, yeah, I can't spell. Okay. I could have sworn, yeah, I could have sworn that they uploaded those videos to YouTube. I know they've done that with other people, so I wouldn't be surprised if they did this here. Um, hmm. Yeah, so they did. They uploaded the Japanese videos for Bumbaya Whistle Playing With Fire as if it's your last. So again, 
and possibly whistle. So why am I paying for the videos when they're already on YouTube? You know what I'm saying? So basically, like I said, if you want the only thing that's really worth buying this whole thing for is the showcase. And I'm like, like I said, I can go to Apple Music right now and listen to the Korean version of these songs and the Japanese version of these songs. So why the fuck would I pay sixty dollars for shit? I can and then I can watch the videos on YouTube for free. So what is the point? It's nothing like I said, there's nothing new, it's not a new song or nothing like that. I don't see the point of spending sixty dollars on this thing. I really don't. Maybe that's just me, but I don't see the point of that. But yeah, so now my other issue is with Lehigh. So we were supposed to get an album last year, didn't happen. Um, but she's debuting in Japan, so I'm assuming, okay, cool, we get new music from her, she's debuting in Japan, I don't even, I think, I, I don't, besides, like, Big Bang members, I don't know anyone, like, a solo artist debuting in Japan, like, I'm not sure if Seven or Gummy or Sai has done, like, debut in Japan, I'm not sure, so this would be a good look for her okay go to japanese market cool i'm cool with that but here is the fucking issue the issue is the track list for this album mind you it's 17 songs that's just the that's just the cd part the d the d the cd dvd is three discs you have cd one with a bunch of songs, CD2 with more songs, and CD3 with DVDs, with the videos. So basically, the track list is just nothing but songs pulled from her first love album and her soul light album. The only song that's in Japanese is Breathe, Rose, Happen Ending. Um, that's it. Yeah, so the Epic High, I guess they did a version with Lee High. That's the only version that's in Japanese. So three songs out of... Let's do some quick math. Out of like 28 songs on this bitch, only three are in Japanese. I'm, I'm like high key. And then it's like the videos to, again, you can watch them shits on YouTube. I In this bitch, like the CD DVD is like almost 60 bucks. That's on Yes Asia. So that's probably how much it is if you go to like anywhere else. Again, why? Why is this track list so long? Why is it only three songs in Japanese? Why is this shit loaded with features? I think they took every single feature from the Soul Light album and put on this album. I feel like that's definitely too much for a debut. You know what I'm saying? Um, most people for a debut, they just kind of just, you know, either it's completely new stuff in J Japanese or, you know, that they want to do shit, whatever. I'm not here for the Korean version and the Japanese version. That's lazy shit. Like, as much time as she's been gone, she could have recorded this bitch completely in Japanese. Why? And I, and I had an issue with this for the main album. Because the main album, only about three songs was in Japanese. The rest were in Korean. I don't think the Japanese market wants to hear songs in Korean. They want to hear in Japanese. What the? Ay, Dios mio. Like, what? Why? Like, this is, and then, this is why this man frustrates me so much. Because I don't get the point of this at all. I don't get the point of that. I don't. Um. So, yeah, this is, you know... I'm just like, we've been wanting something from Lehigh for so long. The girl herself has been very adamant in the public saying that she wants, she just wants to sing. That's it. She just wants to sing. And the, I feel like her talent is just, just wasting away. And I would not be surprised if it came to the point where she had to renew her contract that she would leave. I don't see the point of her staying because she hasn't done anything. Yeah, she was on Epic High's last album. Cool. But that's not what she wants. She just wants to make music and, you know, release, you know, like, release music. Why can't she do that? And now, 
we're gonna go to mix nine so basically there's some drama with mix nine because it's been like there's still no information going on with what's going on with mix nine um we don't have a name for this group we don't know who's the leader we don't know if they're coming out with anything it's literally crickets and i think the companies of the guys that's in this group they don't know what's going on either so now there's rumors going around like this shit may not even happen because i honestly feel like yg has bit more off than he can chew because you have this mixed nine group that hasn't came out yet he already has a boy group that's supposed to come out like the the episode with the yg versus jyp like the guy i don't think it's all of them but some of them are supposed to be his new boy group he's with the debut new girl group and you already have your other artists so you have icon you have winner you have black pink um cl i don't know what the fuck's going on with that i know sungry is supposed to come out with something before he leaves knowing yg it ain't gonna be a mini album i don't be some single album shit it's gonna piss me off but you know see he's supposed to come out with something i don't know what sai is doing i don't know what epic high is doing so all that stuff is kind of like up in the air right now so it's like i said he has a lot on the plate and I, like I said, I think he bit off way more than he can chew. And I know, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, like I said, what is this? What's, what's the deal? Because with the unit, they already picked the group names. They already picked the leaders. They already have V Live um, channels. They have their own Twitter. They even did um, some schedules already what the really what's up so not only is you know the public trying to figure out what's going on i'm you know the members of this group that's supposed to be in this bitch they're wondering what's going on the companies are wondering what's going on it's like like i wasn't here for this show period i wasn't here for it because i just like i just felt like yg just hopped on the survival show train because of the popularity of produce 101 it's like yes he's done this shit before but the group that came from them shows debuted and he wasn't doing this format of like produce 101 and that's the thing i'm, I'm I, I can't stand it's like y'all it's like the same format it's like okay we've seen produce 101 do it i don't want to see the same fucking formula on other shows it's, it's like really like come on now it's just like seriously it's supposed to be a chinese version of produce one-on-one i think it's like another thing that's similar to this in china already produce idol producer that's what it's called yeah but and then so that's that with mix nine so like i said we don't know what's going on with that and then it just came out today that jbj is going to be ending promotions come april like I'm bummed out because I really do like JBJ and I got into them like just more like recently like I knew I listened to fantasy when it came out but it was kind of like you listen to it once and kind of just like I right, going about the business type shit but I started to get more into the group and stuff like that and I really do like them and I was you know of course of course part of me wants them to be permanent but we already know you know two people are already in groups and stuff like that but yeah i'm just like i'm thinking that they're, they're going to extend it to next year like one-on-one because out of the groups that were formed after one-on-one J- jbj is the most popular one so you thinking okay they got a music show win you know they've gotten like popularity and stuff like that why are we ending this shit in april i don't get it so you know, um, Tan, he's gonna go back to Hot Shot. Um, Sungyu's gonna go to She has Not Top Dog anymore. I forgot the name of the group, but the revamped version of Top Dog, I'm I'm assuming. I don't even know he's gonna go back to that group. I don't even know. And then we have Hyunbin, who is no longer on YG uh, K. Plus. Now he's on YG now. So, I don't know what he's going to do with him. I don't know. I don't think he's going to make him a solo. I don't think so. So, I don't know if he's going to, you know, toss him in his new boy group. I have no idea. But, 
I'm just like, I'm worried because you already know the last male solo ain't do all that hot with one, which is disappointing. So I have no idea what he's going to do with him. So we probably ain't going to see shit from him been in a while. So, so this is just frustrating. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you, like I said, it's just the same thing that I talked about with the whole secret situation. It's like, I don't like the, the man, but I support the artist on the company wholeheartedly. You know what I'm saying? It's just how he maneuvers. I don't like it. And I know a lot of people don't like it as well. It's like you got people sitting here waiting for like comebacks and you said, okay, it's like, what's the deal? And then you have situations that end up like Menzi where you like, you're not doing anything. So you leave. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it was like, like how long is someone supposed to sit around and just hope that they're going to have a comeback or hope they're going to be able to perform somewhere? What, what the fuck? Like, seriously, like this man frustrates me to no end. It's, it's not even fucking funny. Um, but yeah, so this is just me wanting to talk about this whole situation with YG and people under YG. Um, but yeah, I'm not feeling this whole... And, and then, go back to Lehigh for real quick. The fucking album cover for the CD and the CD-DVD version are pictures from First Love. That was 2013. You mean to tell me you that goddamn lazy that you couldn't just do a photo shoot for a recent picture the girl was 16 the girl was almost 21 now what really you gonna use like four or five year old pictures for her debut this is like this is some lazy shit as fucking finest and i'm over it but yeah before i catch a goddamn aneurysm i'm gonna get out of here so yeah i'm gonna talk to you guys later in the next video bye